So we got another late night video here because I just got home from the Jersey Shore and the boardwalk. And so I'm gonna try and make this one quick because I'm quite sleepy. But um, I was sitting there on the beach and I, I can be pretty, I'm a pretty pensive person and pretty reserved and introverted. And so very easily I could find myself drifting off into deep thought and slipping out of the present moment that uh, I should be there enjoying with my family that I'm privileged and blessed to be able to still have in my life. And um, what I wanna talk about is when you're in these moments that are meant to be enjoyed and meant to be shared with people um, and meant to, you're meant, you should be staying present and in the moment because uh, the present moment is a blessing and it's all we truly have. We don't have the past, we don't have the future, we have the present moment, but um, this is when the enemy, the false consciousness, your lower self, the devil, whatever you wanna call it, starts scratching at you and instigating you to start ruminating on uh, past perceived mistakes or things that you are you know, not happy that may have been aspects of your old self that you're transcending, that you're growing um, past in the present moment. But you feel these things, you, you know, you notice these thoughts start to enter in your mind and they're designed to rob you of your present moment and to steal you away from um, uh, extracting the entire blessing from those moments that you find yourself in and interacting with your, you know, maybe your family or whatever the case may be, or just enjoying the environment, the, scen the, the scenery, the present moment. And um, for me, I know this happens often, and I think the proper response to this is to quickly strip those thoughts of any energy. Do not energize them, do not give them power, do not allow them to slip into your subconscious or allow them to get past the point of the neutral things that they are in the unemotionalized um, state. So to dismiss them and to let them dissolve into the nothingness that they are and to not allow these um, tactics of the false consciousness and the lower self to dictate you, to dictate your present, to steal you away from it but I don't think you should, and to, you should strive not to um, indulge them, to contemplate them too far. And uh, because what you're doing is, like I said, you're robbing yourself of the blessing that is being present in the moment. And um, it's very easy to go down that road where you know you keep ruminating and you keep thinking and then you go down this other road and this other road and it's a never-ending journey down these um, roads of low vibration that the false consciousness thrives on and seeks to utilize to derail you so make a concerted effort to dismiss them to not emotionalize them to not breathe life into them to not allow them to take root in the subconscious because there they will dictate your actions and thoughts and reality so notice them when they come and they'll come because you know you'll feel them you'll see them you'll observe them making themselves uh, um, making their presence known in your mind when you're in these peaceful present moments of where you should be and what you should be enjoying that's when they'll come out and scratch at you and try to get you to take the bait and bite and derail you so be cognizant of that and uh, dismiss them and strip them of everything that they need to manifest and to find their expression in reality. So that's what I want to say. I'm going to keep the video short. It's also a reminder to myself because like I said, uh, this is something that I notice in myself often. And um, if you could uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your, com your comments, your suggestions, your feedback. Anything you might want my perspective on, any struggles you might be going through, if you might want some advice that I can leave, some 
inspiring words or some uplifting words, I'd be happy to do that. And uh, truly make a concerted effort to always be cognizant of the tremendous blessings that are on your life and to never become uh, jaded or um, ungrateful or cold to these things. And uh, check out my other channel, Ray Rivera. I do music and art. And know that the name of this channel is what it is because of the idea that I had, which is a common idea, but it came to me. Uh, it never was about you, and that has to do with the suffering, the trials, and the tribulations that we go through, which are absolutely necessary to forge and temper us and strengthen us so that we can facilitate God's ultimate purpose for us, so we can manifest our ultimate selves, because there is no growth without adversity, without struggle, without something bearing down upon you that you need to push yourself against and through. And so never take a defeatist mentality or a spirit of discouragement or resentment or any of these things, but know that the suffering you are going through is necessary in order to extract only the highest of vibration and virtue from it and to know that it is a blessing. Orientate your mind properly as you go through it and uh, know that as you go through it, you will be able to have a profound and positive effect uplifting effect on everyone you encounter and on the collective and that is the ultimate um, goal to affect the lives of others in a profoundly positive way so keep that in mind and stay tuned for more